can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. Fuck yes. Mom would kill me if she knew I was out here. No trespassing? No way. Holy shit. This place is awesome. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. If I owed somebody a thousand dollars, I'd be shitting my pants. Yeah, your problem. Not mine. I know you're kind. Those guys need to get a room. Or not. Damn. Mind your own business. I understand. I understand, really. And, and, and it won't ever happen again, I swear. This RV's just... Begging for a little street art. But if I do it here, someone will see me. Me is burned in action. This place has collected a lot of junk over the years. A second door inside. So close, and yet so far. This band shreds so hard. I gotta get in there. I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. Some say the world will end in fire. Mom would totally flip her shit if she knew I hiked for an hour just to see a show. I've got to figure out how to get past this guy. Help you, miss? You gotta let me in. Check it. I'm totally legit. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? Or can something around here help me convince him? Guess fire safety isn't exactly high on the agenda here. Ah, perfect place for me to work. Now what to draw? Definitely, absolutely not a meth lab.
It's an old lumber car. Guess it's been years since anyone's actually worked here. God, again? What do you want, kid? Is that your bike over there? Yup. It's, uh, pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. I have to convince this doorstop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Isn't it past yours? <laughs> Real cute. But I still don't know you. Kittens riding tiny mopeds are cute. I'm more like Red Sonia riding a panzer tank. <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid, because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you, with pretty, pretty flowers on her bicycle, shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan... <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. You're... You're not accepting no for an answer, are you? Nope. <laughs> and you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're all right, kid. Go on in. This is intense. <laughs> Shit. Hey, Delia, come. Cute dog. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. That dog is fierce. What's her name? Delia. She doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Sober up, girl. You're missing the show. No, 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 no. Look. Damon Merrick again? Who is this guy? It's not gonna take any more than an hour to do it. I can't hear you. Can you talk louder, please? Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. No. No, 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 no. Look, 
That shirt is rad. No. No, 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 no. Is Look, that guy selling merch? Exactly as I've explained it to you. Wish I had some cash. All right, it, it's not going to take any more than an hour to do it. Yeah, no shit. This car could slide down any minute. That's exactly what we need. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, they're going to sell out. Hey, are you selling 20 any bucks? What? Twenty bucks for a T-shirt. That's really expensive. Dick. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. No. No, 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 no. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained. Don't you judge me, spooky deerhead. I'm here for the band. How can you just chill when Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room? Frank Bowers? What is he doing here? Yo, Frank! Hey! Chloe? I know your name, you idiot. You bought pot for me every month for a year. Look at that getup, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? Ha, <laughs> the internet. How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Reminds me of the way I make important life choices. Sketch Central. This place is mobbed. Okay, good. Right, well, that would help. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Look, we have to set this up exactly as I've explained it to you. All right, it, it's not going to take any more than an hour to do it. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. Shit! No, 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 no! Come on! Thanks for playing, dick. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Holy shit! I'm rich! Nothing sadder than a neglected bong. She returns. About that weed? Uh, here it comes. Toss in a dime bag and we'll call it square. Hey, hey! What are you waving around this kind of money here for? You really don't think before you act, do you? Nope. So, where's my pot? 
No more loans. I'm not your fucking piggy bank. You're a good man, Frank. No. I'm not. Now beat it, Price. You're cramping my style. I'll see you later. Whatever. Cold beer, free for the taking. Drink more, feel less. Yes, please. Graffiti everywhere. I think they missed a spot. 300 dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled? God, Prescott's a real tool. That's totally me in five beers. Okay, three. Sit and spin. Here we go. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. Relax. You bumped into me, remember? Yep. My bad, dude. You don't know who I am, do you? Nope. Don't care, either. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right. Mosh pit is a no-go. Fine. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. You spilled my beer, bitch! You should be more careful. It's a rough place. I don't like your attitude. Hey, I'm sorry about the beer, okay? Not good enough. <laughs> We're not done. Then how about I show you how unimpressed I am with limp dick assholes who get butt hurt over a spilled beer? I think she's calling us out, dude. She's gonna regret every word. Every word. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be good. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. I'm serious. You want to see me get angry here? Because I'm getting there. And it won't be pretty. 
It she won't. thinks she can take you? Hey, dickhead! Rachel? Come on! Hurry up! Let me go, Frank! Not gonna happen! Calm down! <laughs> Come on, man! Walk away! Screw this! This is bullshit. Get the fuck out of here. Sometimes, all I want to do is shut my eyes and tell the world to go to hell. Daily rituals are important. Even when they involve writing unread letters to friends who have forgotten you. Hey, Max. Hey, Dad. Another day in paradise. Right? Chloe! Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Last night, seeing Firewalk live. The skeevy assholes... That... Girl. Was that really Rachel Amber? 
You smell like cigarettes and beer. Better change clothes. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? I'd like to think my humor has improved with age. Better living through chemistry. I'm perfectly capable of waking up without you, you know. Eventually. Wake and bake is part of a healthy breakfast. One of these days, I'm actually going to use you to do my homework. Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid, but then all the unicorns died. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong, and it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. I bet long Max Silver traded her hat for beer and booty long ago. How do I want to express my teenage angst today? Can't leave without my vitamins. Uh, I really should get going. Shit, where's my phone? God, it's not here. How drunk was I last night? Chloe, I said breakfast. Guess I better try calling my phone with moms. Okay, mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. 
Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. How can Mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie better. It's weird that mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any Mom's finally making her bed again. I guess that's a good sign. Ah, Mom. Bad enough that David comes here for dinner. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of Dad. What's the matter, Mom? You don't want Dad to see your new boyfriend? I made this for Mom when I was, like, 10 years old. If she wore it now, I'm not sure which of us... You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. Mom's old engagement ring. Supposed to be mine, if I'm ever stupid enough to get married. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pond. Wait, Mom's selling her engagement ring? They should take that down to Mom. Oh, can you grab my cell phone too? No more dawdling. I need to talk to you. Yeah, that really makes me want to hurry. Coming, Mom. Finally, you can put my purse on the dining table. Might still have time for breakfast if you hurry. Dining table, here I come. Dad took these photos. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take Mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. 
How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Wow. Sean Prescott's son, Nathan, goes to my school. Sounds like the apple didn't fall far from the asshole. Why do I suddenly want to get some fireworks? This is Principal Ray Wells. Let me be emphatic. I have an enormous stick inserted into my butt. Thank you. Also, Chloe, you're- Feeling trapped? Right there with you. <laughs> Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? It's my job to water these plants, but it was dad's job to remind me, so nobody's fault, really. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an eighth grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Family pick used to hang here. I, wow, I can't actually remember which one. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? <sighs> and never looked back? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. <sighs> like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what Mom wants before she strokes out. Hey, Mom. You wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? 
You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame, too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? And I do know what pot smells like, you know. Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Never again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe I just need to be left alone. Maybe you're 16 and don't know what you need. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. Crap. I forgot David's keys. That's probably worth at least 10 push-ups.
I made that for my... No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Electrode insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you the not part... hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Hustle wouldn't have killed you. <sighs> See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. Depo no shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. Mm-hmm. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking, drug use, it's making everything harder for her. You need to shape up, get your act together, and put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? Got it. 
thanks. We should really get going. Glad we understand each other. Country music? <laughs> Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you, my old friend. Burning the midnight all again. <laughs> what a beautiful day. I know what a spark plug does. Your quad. This, this isn't right. Dad, turn it up. Picking up my lover from the grocery store. 